everybody, it's week four of Garden Club, and today we're going to be growing alfalfa sprouts. And alfalfa sprouts are almost like microgreens, except instead of growing them in a pot of soil, we grow them in a jar. So little seeds can sprout without any soil when they're really tiny. All they really need is the warmth, they need the water, and they need some air, and then they can sprout. And then when they get bigger, they need the sun to photosynthesize and the soil to start sucking up nutrients. So today we're gonna grow the seeds just right in the water and you're gonna use your plastic jar and your rubber band and your cheesecloth. And we're gonna be doing alfalfa. So alfalfa is in the pea and bean family and it's actually grown for hay, but the little baby plants are great. You can make sprouts out of lots of different kinds of seeds. So before you get started, take a couple of your seeds and let's save them in a dish. Save about maybe 10 seeds or so in a dish. And we're gonna plant them later in soil just to see how they look when they grow. So now let's start growing our sprouts. And I'm gonna show you some video that I took over the five days that it takes to grow sprouts. And after that, we're gonna check our other plantings and we're gonna try our veggies and we're going to go outside. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put two tablespoons of these alfalfa seeds into a big jar. And any big jar will do. Then we're gonna pour some water over top. I have about a cup here, but the quantity doesn't matter that much. Okay. And we're gonna let that sit for a whole day. While it's soaking, we can cover it with a little piece of cloth. Some cheesecloth will work. And you can put that on with a rubber band or part of a canning lid if you want. And just let it soak overnight. So now it's the day after we soaked our sprouts in water. And now what we have to do is dump the water out. It goes right through the cloth that we had. And then we're gonna give them a quick rinse with cool water. And dump that out too. And try to shake all the water out. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the jar on its, on its side and kind of spread the seeds out a little bit if we can. So they're not really sitting in water. And then we're gonna set it on the counter and we're gonna rinse them twice a day, so morning and night. So we'll just set this on the counter and we'll come back to it tonight and rinse it again. We'll rinse them twice a day for about maybe, let's try four or five days. And by then our sprout should be about done. But pretty soon we're gonna to start to see little tiny roots come out of them. Okay, it's later the same day, we're gonna do another rinse. So fill in with water. Swish it around. Drain out the water. Try to get it all out so that they don't, they're not sitting in water. Then we'll shake them around and spread them out in the bottle again. And we'll put it aside and tomorrow morning we'll repeat. At this point, the sprouts don't need any light. So they could be in a dark corner or in a cabinet or someplace that's not getting too much light. Today is day three. We have to rinse them twice each day. So I rinsed them in the morning and now we're gonna rinse them again in the evening. It's day five and you can see how much these sprouts have grown. They have really big roots now and little leaves starting to come out. So it's filling up the container and the roots are long. So we're gonna give it a quick rinse and then put it in the window so that they can start to get a little bit of green from the sun. Make sure all the water gets out. And then we'll put them in the window so they can photosynthesize a little bit and start to turn a little green. And then tonight we'll rinse them again and they'll be ready to eat. Okay, 
so now it's day six of growing our sprouts. So we're gonna open them up. Let's pull some out with a fork and see how they're looking. Oh, they're great. Look how long they are. Wow, the puddle really filled up with sprouts from just that little bit of seeds that we put in to start with. Yeah, you can see how they look. I think the ones that were on the outer edge look more green because they were photosynthesizing with the light of the sun. And then some of the ones on the inner part are still kind of yellow. Let's take a closer look at one of these little sprouts. You can see that first the seed sends down the long root searching into the soil to try to find the water and nutrients that it needs to soak up to survive. And then it pokes up this little green leaf and actually it's two little leaflets that come out of the seed that we had in there. And those are called the cotyledon leaves. They're actually the leaves that are inside the seed. And then we've got these little brown pieces and those are the hull of the seed. So when the seed burst open and these two little leaves came out, that's the shell of the seed. And we can eat all of that. There's a little sprout. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we'll just cover these up. We can put a regular lid on top and we'll sort of cover it loosely. And then we can keep them in the fridge and you can eat them up over the next two or three days. Put them in salad. You can put them in a sandwich with hummus and enjoy your sprouts that you grew all by yourself. So start your alfalfa seeds in your jar today, and then in five days, you're going to have your sprouts. We're also going to plant a few alfalfa seeds in a pot, and now you know how to do this. We're going to fill it with soil. We're going to add some water. We're going to stir it around. We're going to press it down. We're going to make some really shallow rows, and then we're going to sprinkle our alfalfa seeds in, and these are really tiny, so we can't plant them too deeply, right? and then cover them with soil or sprinkle some fresh soil on top. And then mist them with your mister, put them on a little tray, and cover them with your little mini greenhouse and put them in a warm spot in a sunny window. It's a good job. So this will be fun because now we can see how alfalfa looks when it's growing in soil and how it compares to the alfalfa sprouts that are growing in your jar with just water. Let's check up on our other plantings. So, the scallions are looking good. They're getting much taller than last week, but they're also kind of flopping over and skinny. That's because they're not getting quite enough light in my sunny window, which is not quite sunny enough. So we're gonna be able to put these outside today so that they can get some more light. And what about the microgreens? Wow, these are ready to pick today. I'm gonna to pull one out to show you. They're really stretching up for the light too. Mine are just starting to grow little tiny true leaves right in the crevice, right in between those two seed leaves. You can see a tiny little sprout popping up. Those are the first new true leaves. What about your arugula? How does that look? Did you notice that it looks a little bit like the radish microgreens? That's because they're in the same plant family, right? Well, mine are looking very tall and skinny and that's because they don't have enough light too. And so we're gonna be able to put these outside today so that they can get some more light. And also, we have, I have too many plants in here. These won't be able to grow very big, so I'm gonna thin these a little bit. And thinning means that you pull out some of the plants to give the other ones space. So we're going to take a few out and give the other ones some space. You can leave the bigger, nicer ones and pick out the smaller ones. Here we go. I took out some of the extra little plants and now these have just a little bit more space. And arugula doesn't mind cool temperatures too, so we'll put this outside today so it can start to get more sunlight, which is what it really needs. Now we get to try our veggies. So it's time to do some harvesting. So we're going to take our scissors and we're going to pick just a few microgreens and one of these green onion scallions and we're gonna put them on a little sandwich and have a healthy snack. So let's take just a little bit of the microgreens and we're gonna cut them right down to the soil. They are not gonna grow back. So we're just gonna cut them like this. So I have a little handful of microgreens and I'm gonna put it in a colander so we can wash them. 
So you can pick some of your microgreens each day for the next two or three days and use them in salad and sandwiches while they're nice and fresh. They, they won't last too long, so make sure you use them up. But keep them growing in your sunny window with, with water in the meantime. And I'm going to pick one of the scallions. And the thing about scallions is that when you cut them and you leave just a little bit growing above the soil, they will grow back another scallion. So if I cut it right about here, then it kind of looks like what we planted the first time and it will sprout another leaf for us. And I'm going to put this into the colander too so we can wash this up and have a snack. Okay, it's time to try our veggies. So we've washed them, we've washed our hands, and what I have here is a piece of whole grain pita or any kind of bread will work. And so I thought we could make a little sandwich and we've got two choices. Today, I'm using some hummus and I'm using some cream cheese as two different options. So I'm gonna spread some hummus on the bread. Hummus is made out of chickpeas, so it's in the bean and pea family, just like alfalfa is. I'm gonna put some cream cheese on this one, so I have another choice. And now for the fun part, we get to add our veggies. So I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm going to just put a few little bits of scallion or green onion on each one. I could just put these little radish microgreens right on the sandwich like that, or I could clip them with the scissors too. Try one of the microgreens all by itself to see how it tastes. Hmm, tastes like radishes? I think so. Try a little tiny piece of scallion. Oh, really oniony, right? Now let's try the whole sandwich and see if it's good. This is delicious. You did a great job growing your own veggies for your own snack. And you made a three food group snack. You've got your grains, your veggies, and either your protein or your dairy. Good job. Okay, now let's go outside. We'll bring our scallions and our arugula. Let's put our plants outside so that they can get a little bit more sun. Arugula doesn't mind the cold, so I'm gonna set it right here, and it's still in its little watering tray. And these little arugulas are gonna do okay out here as long as it doesn't go below freezing. So you can leave them out here unless it gets really, really cold. Just make sure they get a little water. They're right next to those scallions I've had out all winter. <laughs> I'm gonna plant the scallions outside in the garden right in the soil. So if you can find a sunny place outside that has pretty good soil, you can plant your scallions outside too. You don't have to worry about deer or rabbits or anything eating them because those animals don't like anything in the onion family. So I'm gonna take my trowel and make a little row right here on the edge of the garden. Then I'm gonna put my hand right between all these scallions and kind of hold on to them gently as I tip my pot over. And then they come out in one whole piece and you can see all their roots in there. And then I'm gonna divide them up into four different little chunks and plant my four little scallions. So here's two of them. And I wanna dig the hole deep enough so that these roots can, can go down in nice and straight and they don't get all crunched up in a small hole. So I'm going to make a deep little hole stick it in. Just like that. This one's great because it has a lot of dirt around the roots so that's better for the roots. Okay, they're all planted in their little row. I'm so excited to see the pictures of your alfalfa sprouts and your snack that you made and the plantings that you did today on Padlet. It's been so great doing Garden Club together with you. You've done such a great job learning to grow your own food. And so, keep gardening. Bye.